An afternoon call to Naugatuck's Linden Park, a familiar, frightening one for Naugatuck police. This time they were told a girl was on a rock and slipped and fell into the water. We haven't been able to confirm that part of the information, but we do know she was into the water, uh, started getting carried away, and the witnesses reported that they saw her head go under and then they couldn't find her anymore. About 90 minutes later, the girl, identified as 12-year-old Jada Ivory, was found unresponsive. She was later pronounced dead at the hospital. It was just a few years ago police say a child drowned in that river. In this case, police say a group of children told them they were with the girl when they all went swimming with no supervision. Heather Bordeaux, new to this neighborhood, says with this beautiful weather comes problems when kids are left alone for even a second. They make bad decisions. They just don't make good decisions. They don't know the ramifications of it. Police say there aren't signs put up saying no swimming, but they want to stress the conditions are rough. Like many rivers, this one in particular has a lot of shallow areas, a lot of rocks, uh, coupled with some very deep areas. Um, and a very f uh, fast moving current. Even an experienced swimmer would have problems in that type of condition. The water itself is very cold, and if you are in that water for, it doesn't even have to be a really an extended amount of time uh, before too long, you'll have other issues uh, with the coldness of the waters. We don't have too many recreational swimmers usually in the in the river. It's Definitely is the time to just ask the questions and start talking about when you're choosing activities, what are the best activities to do and what you should definitely stay away from. That's some really good advice. Police say Jada lives very close to Linden Park and they're still not sure why she and a group of friends walked over to the park alone in the first place. Tonight the investigation continues. Live in the New Haven newsroom tonight, Aaron Logan back to you in the studio.